Guys here, uh, all through here, we have yarrow, we've got holly leaf cherry, we've got hummingbird sage, okay, and uh, we've got California poppies, we've got deer, deer grass there, and, uh, and uh, this is primarily was planted, oh, the manzanilla over there, uh, and these are all native California, and this is, we want to turn this into uh, sort of a milkweed garden. And one of our things that we want to do, which we re realize afterwards, planning afterwards, where I say that adaptive management uh, through that, is we're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, we want to get rid of all those eucalyptus trees, because they're, and that's in the master plan. But you'll have to convince the city to change their mind. All you need to do is, you know, go there and eh, save the eucalyptus, because what I'm thinking is that this can become an overwintering area, just like Pacific Grove, like uh, uh, arches. We're close by the, the water, by the bay, uh, which, so it doesn't get as freezing as it does at Rick's house in, uh, in South San Jose, and it doesn't get as hot, and, and, and monarchs are very sensitive to temperature where they're overwinter. And so this is a bigger, this is a bigger grove now than the, you the yeah. Right yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Right on time. Right on time. I, you know, I, I just hope that they could, you know, that we could, I, I would like to see that now. So, uh, you know, but uh, that's yeah, one of the things about making this an overwintering area.